Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all the zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorns, Moon, Sun, and Rising. If you're interested in any of my private consultations or services, look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. Also, if you want to support my YouTube channel, definitely check out my new Patreon page. I just recently made that just um, so you guys can... Um, help me in trying to give you guys more content uh, when it comes to my YouTube channel, okay? So anyways, let's get into this reading and see what Spirit has for you guys. Capricorns, for the mid-month of August 2017, regarding your love life. Capricorns, Capricorns, Capricorns. Okay. Your cards, the Ace of Swords, the Moon card, the Four of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. Partners cards, the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, the Hierophant. Center issue, the Page of Cups. Okay, so the Nine of Wands came out. It's in the reverse. I don't do reversals. <coughs> Okay, so let me look at your cards for a little bit. Okay, Capricorns, your center issue is the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is feeling very loving or being very nurtured, very loved. Um, you're definitely feeling the support from your partner. Um, there's been a lot of things going on with you emotionally, and it has to do with the cycle of uh, the cycles of the moon. Uh, that are affecting you at the present time. The reason why I say that is because you do have the Ace of Swords here. The Ace of Swords is all about truth and cutting through bullshit. Uh, it, it's also thinking very clearly, thinking very precisely about what you want, your goals and aspirations. You have the Moon card. The Moon card is all about, again, the hidden, the unknown. But to me, right on top of the Ace of Swords is definitely talking about your subconscious mind. So it's like you're tuning in. You're definitely tuning in to the conscious and subconscious minds. Uh, and what that means is basically that's where you're capable to uh, manipulate energy or actually use it to assist you in the manifestation, whether it's of a relationship or whether it's... Uh, being in a more harmonious type of energy in a relationship. Now, you do have the Four of Swords here. The Four of Swords definitely talks about taking some time away or meditating, contemplating, going within yourself. You are being represented here with the Queen of Pentacles, so you're very grounded at the present time. Again, like I said, you are within your nature. The Moon card, I don't see any negative um, as the Moon card is definitely talking. It's mirroring your partner's cards, which is the seven of uh, pentacles. So there's going to be clarity in regards to something that has to do with your past or something that has to do with the past of your partner. Um, but I don't feel that it's going to affect in a negative way. Now they do have, or they had been feeling like they've been through a lot of difficult situations and this is your partner's cards. Like they've been, um, dealing with a lot of emotions as well. You may be dealing with the Virgo, or you may be dealing with a fire sign. So fire sign would be an Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo. Uh, but it was in the reverse position. So I'm just going to go off of that. And what it's talking about, it's definitely talking about coming out of the struggle. Coming out of, you know, feeling like they are basically, they've gone through the ringer. And the seven of cups, I mean, the seven of pentacles is definitely talking about looking back and being blessed or being very thankful. Now, they do have the Page of Swords, and the Page of Swords is them being very honest or very frank. Uh, I don't see it in an aggressive way, although perhaps for some of you guys, some of your partners or relationships um, are usually take are taking a break at the present time. The reason why I say that is because the Four of Swords definitely talks about... Um, taking some time away from each other and the page of swords could be a representation of one or the other was very impulsive and made it seem like well if you don't agree with me then you know what that means you're against me and they feel they felt uh, a little bit intimidated by you or by the fact that you're able to speak your mind and maybe there is some time 
of meditation or contemplation. Now, I do see marriage for some of you Capricorns. As you do have your card and the Hierophant, and the Hierophant is mirroring uh, the practicalities of the Queen of Pentacles. So again, like I said, for some of you guys, maybe that's what you needed. You needed some time away. Uh, for others of you, it's not physical giving time uh, to each other, or giving time f f with, from each other. Um, but it can also represent just going within and actually meditating or finding the time to meditate uh, and going within yourself to try to come to terms with what it is that you want. But the center issue at the present time is a very loving energy. So again, like I said, the Queen of Pentacles and the Hierophant are marrying one another. So there's definitely marriage for some of you guys. Uh, for others of you, maybe it's um, you being able to balance your partner and your partner being able to balance you. You're more practical. They're more spiritual. Uh, or or they're the one or you're the one that's more spiritual and they're the one that are more practical. Uh, for those of you currently at the present time that have been single for quite a while, um, I feel that there's some hidden things that going on with you in regards to relationships. It could be the fact that you fear commitment. It can also be the fact that you are unaware, uh, you know, of what it is that you really like. Um, you know, we live in 2017 and although we should all be very respectful and very loving towards one another. Unfortunately, a lot of people do carry dogmas with them. So I feel that for some of you guys, you guys are dealing with, you know, not really knowing what it is exactly that you want. Or it could just be a representation of not knowing um, the type of partner that you want. Uh, but I definitely do see, again, like I said, a Virgo or a fire sign coming into your life or very well a water sign for some of you guys, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment my videos. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel, and we will talk from each or talk to each other soon. Okay, <laughs> bye.